It is the first ever Formula E home race for Nissan, which means very busy days for drivers Sasha Finistras and Oliver Rowland. And we got the opportunity to hang out with them all day long. First stop of the day, and we find ourselves two levels below the streets of Tokyo. Sasha Fenestra is about to do an incredible shoot here, kind of a Tokyo Drift Formula E style crossover, and he's getting briefed right now. Sasha, you have a busy schedule. This is doing a little bit of acting right now. How do you think that's going? I think I'm not too bad at the moment. I, I, I'm a little bit shy with cameras and etc., but it's a, it's a pretty cool. It's like a kid in a candy store right now with all of this. They just did take number one. It's perfect from director Paul. So one take, wonder. First stop, done. How was it? Amazing, amazing. I think I'm not that bad at acting, actually. So no, it was pretty cool. I bet you worked up an appetite, right? Yes. Let's a go lot. get some sushi. <laughs> Let's go. Now we've made it stop number two, and Sasha is now joined by teammate Oliver Rowland. So let's see what the guys are going to be doing at this stop. We're here in Ginza at Sushi Ko Restaurant and we're gonna head inside and they're gonna teach us how to cook some sushi. Kind of. We'll make a sushi. We'll try to. It's not that strong. <laughs> For all Formula E teams, creating digital and social content is crucial, especially when it's your home race. Embracing the local cuisine adds a unique touch to the experience. It's amazing. Thank you very much to them for obviously teaching us how to make sushi. It's a lot harder than I thought, to be honest. Now, it was a great experience. On the stop three. Let's go. Next, we headed to the market in traditional kimonos for a photo shoot and chance to meet the locals. <laughs> With Instagram-worthy content capture, the robes went away, and our next stop was one of the city's most famous locations. No trip to Tokyo can be complete without a visit to Shibuya Crossing. Guys, what a day. I mean, it was an incredibly busy day. What are your biggest takeaways? It was just amazing, all, everything. Uh, sets the weekend up perfectly, really. It's time to switch to race mode. Good luck this weekend, guys. Let's go. No time to stand still. The evening saw the guys attend a press launch confirming the team's future involvement in Gen 4, lining them up on the grid through 2026. It was a day filled with excitement and events for both of the drivers and the team here in Tokyo.